Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Twitter Com video, we're going to be discussing the latest GPUs from AMD. And if five T flops of computing performance excites you, well, then you're going to be in for a treat because that is what AMD are promising for the next generation of PC graphics cards. This is going to be from the R9 290X. We're unsure how much it's going to cost, but we do know it's going to have a pre-order date of 10.03.2013. That's, of course, American date. And it's going to feature 4 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 memory, and that is going to have 300 300 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, which means it's going to be running at about 4.7 gigahertz. Now, to put into perspective on just how much power this is actually, it's going to be running 2,816 stream processors, which means that we're going to be getting 44 clusters of 64 stream processors each. So in other words, each cluster has 64 stream processors or if you prefer to not use the word cluster you could also say GCN unit that means it's going to have 37.5 times 37.5% uh, I'm sorry increase over the previous generation to Heaty its base clock speed is going to be about 900 megahertz this has not been confirmed but I have done maths and it does seem to be pretty much accurate unlike the previous generation it's also going to have two additional raster units that's going to be four independent raster units rather than two on the heaty which means it's going to be much better at processing for example geometry and this whole manufacturing process is going to be about six billion transistors next down the line is going to cost 299 us dollars and that's going to be the r9 280x we don't have a T-flop performance. What we do have is Fire Strike score. That's going to be 6800 with 3 gigs of RAM. No release date. Next, further down, uh, it's going to have 5500 with the Fire Strike score. And that's going to be the R9 270X. That's going to have 2 gigs of video RAM. And that's going to cost you 200 US dollars. Next, with a Fire Strike score of 3700 you're looking at the R7 260X. That's 2 gigs of RAM at 139 US dollars. Finally, and bring up the rear for 2,000 uh, in terms of Fire Strike score is going to be the R7 250. That comes packed with 1 gigabyte of memory and it's going to cost about 89 to 90 US dollars. Once again, there has not been. Uh, confirmation on the release date but it looks like it's going to be some a point this year wow um this is going to be very very fast performance indeed obviously they have amd i mean have also of course unveiled the next generation of api as well they are of course calling it mantle so it appears that we're going to be getting a ridiculous amount of performance 5 T flops is absolutely insanity and is almost three times the performance of the PlayStation 4, let alone the Xbox One. So, what's next? Well, obviously, this is going to be the first generation of cards. We're not exactly sure yet um, on the release date, but as I said, it's probably going to be some point this year. AMD apparently are trying their best to make it as. Uh, reasonably priced as possible they don't want to come into the market too expensive which is completely and utterly understandable as a tactic regardless it's looking like the future of pc gaming is going to be incredibly exciting and obviously these next generation of graphics cards are going to be able to throw around uh, throw around frame rates at absolute ridiculous the ludicrous speeds and not just high frame rates of course but ridiculously high triple monitor resolutions with all of that said, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.